And welcome back to the farm, everybody. It's been a while since I have made a uh, video in Farming Simulator. Um, but today that's what I wanted to do. And it is a, <coughs> excuse me, it's an early spring morning. Um, it's a little chilly for planting, but um, I just want to go ahead and make a video. Uh, so <laughs> might not be the most realistic video <laughs> given the colder temperatures that are displayed since I have the seasons mod on um, but I'm just gonna go with it and so today this morning I've got the uh, planter and everything that's already out of the field I've just got to pick a vehicle to head out there you know what since it's a little warmer in the garage I am going to pick the, <laughs> the economy car <laughs> My Prius, which I actually love driving, so I don't care about your uh, criticism. <laughs> yes, the good thing is it is uh, early spring, so temperatures are warming up, and uh, we are about to start uh, planting and growing season. Uh, but I just want to finish up planting this one field that I have. Um, started planting uh, because it is under contract. Uh, so we're going to head out there early this morning, pretend we have our thermos of coffee already. <laughs> and uh, I was actually looking for my red truck, my comments. Uh, I think it's over at the other, I think it's over at the workshop, so I'm just going to actually uh, swing over there and pick that up uh, just because I actually, you know, you can judge me all, about, all, I, all you want for uh, just <laughs> driving the Prius, but uh, I do enjoy the uh, heavy-duty vehicles such as the uh, Cummins and need my power strokes up there. So uh, yes, I do enjoy uh, the heavy-duty diesel trucks in addition to my hybrid vehicle I'm currently in. So I'm just gonna go head over here, fly down this dirt road. <laughs> Yeah, yep, there it is. Go pick up my red truck. And we're going to head down to the field. I don't think the tractor needs any fuel or anything, so I'm not taking uh, a work truck or anything like that. Um, however, if I need to get seed, then I'm going to probably need my heavy duty truck, uh, the Cummins, to pull the uh, seed trailer. So and I don't think it's too cold to start this up. We'll get in. Let her run for just a minute and see how much all the doors are doing. Uh, which is okay. Good thing about Farming Simulator is uh, we don't have to deal with all the critters and, and birds and stuff with, uh, getting in the barn, right? Um, so obviously in real life this would be a little more sealed up. Uh, but wow, it is a nice day. I will say, like, with Farming Simulator, I don't know, I just... Something about uh, just the... I don't know, like, I, maybe it's just me, but the, just the sunrises and the birds and the, the lighting, I mean, it all comes together to just, I, I can really get immersed in this world. It's easy for me. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just like you can just get lost in this world and just like, yep, I'm actually on my farm. Uh, I just love that. So that's how I feel when I play this. That's why I keep coming back to this game and I have it upgraded to the new one. Uh, if you are playing the new one, I forget what number we're at now. I guess it's 22 or uh, something like that. Uh, let me know in the comments um, what the differences are and maybe should I upgrade to the other game. Or sim. I don't know. It, do people get do people mind if you call it a game or a sim? I mean, it's uh, I you know it's like to me it's like it's just it's fun either way. So I don't you know it's a game. It's a sim. It's, it's just pure. For me, it's just fun to play. So. Anyway, we're going to continue down the road here. Uh, did I shut off the other car? I hope I did. I would hate to waste fuel. <laughs> it's coming down that way. Nope, actually, there <laughs> that's why I get in the comments, because this thing freaking flies. This thing rolls down the road. Right. Unfortunately, I can't do turns. Actually, can you do turn signals in this? I think you can, but from my gamepad, I, I don't know the... Uh, the buttons I need to press for. Uh, I'm trying not to tailgate either. That's the one thing about 
people in big, big trucks because they love to tailgate smaller cars, and I try not to do that. Even though we're just in the game, but, you know, same goes in real life. If you drive a big diesel truck or a big pickup truck, something that makes you feel like a big man or a big woman, you know, why don't you just ease up and, you know, uh, <laughs> not to go off, not to go off script here or onto a tangent, but it's just funny to me, like, I've driven these trucks in real life and I actually, you know, prefer driving a small car just because it's easier to park and everything. Better on fuel and all that. Um, but, you know, it's like the people that do actually drive the big trucks, it's like, you know, they just, they, it's like they have something to prove or whatever, so. But I'm not going to, I digress because, you yeah. uh, know, it is, I will admit, it is hard not to drive that way when you're in a big, you know, big intimidating vehicle and you're like, yeah, get out of my way, all you people. <laughs> so anyway, that's what it is. 9520 RX is what I have out here. Uh, all my equipment, not least, uh, bought. And uh, yeah, it's been a it's just been sitting for a minute, uh, just because temperatures dropped. So we are going to resume planting. I don't even remember what we're planting. What are we planting out here? Canola. Okay, so that that's pretty tolerable of uh, colder weather. And uh, let's climb in the cab here and see what we have uh, for us. Uh, start her up. I love starting this thing up, seeing the screens load, that is like one of the coolest things. Let's see my work lights on. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh wow, it's 6.30, okay, not even seven o'clock yet. Okay, we're out here pretty early. Okay, we're gonna let the tractor warm up for a little bit. Oh, it looks like, yeah, we got, okay, more than half. Well, 57% load, which is a lot. I mean, you see the size of that uh, seed container there. Uh, so we got a lot of seed. I'm gonna go ahead and back this guy up. Uh, be careful not to hit my work truck. That's why, that's why, that's where my work truck is. I, I brought that over here previously uh, for something else that was going on the field, and that's where I left it. Go ahead and park behind that just so we have plenty of room to turn that tractor around. Uh, you see how wide that planter is, so it definitely takes, uh, it's not the hardest thing to turn around, but it does definitely take up some room. So, I've actually got to probably uh, go get my book here because I forget how to use the GPS in this, uh, which the e uh, GPS auto steer. Uh, I'm probably going to have to pause and go look for that because I don't remember uh, the controls for that, and that would be very helpful. I, I prefer using the auto GPS uh, just because, I mean, look at those, I mean, look at that. That is like, I mean, it, it, it's perfection and it's such a cool mod in the game. I mean, it's really awesome. I'm going to come back and probably do one last pass on the edge here. Uh, I've been pulling up, yeah, pulling the planter up around that mark uh, just because, I mean, it does take, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to turn around, so I could probably even give myself more room and use the full width of the planter for the edge. but. Uh, it's kind of just, you know, yeah, just learning as I go here, so. Uh, yeah, and the other thing too, uh, I try, yeah, so I, instead of doing up and down, I try to be mindful of uh, rain and erosion and all that, and uh, yes, I, I do try to keep that in mind, you know, it's like I'm trying to do it somewhat realistically. Um, so on this big slope like this, this, this long grade, uh, I prefer to plant with the rows going, uh, what would that be, perpendicular to the slope. Um, because if you go with the slope, then all the wa rainwater just washes straight down the rows and just causes a mess. So hopefully this will slow down any, any water, any, uh, maybe not downpours, but water, because this is, I mean, this is an upgrade to, uh, you know, be, you know, take that into consideration. And, you know, it's a long hill. Go and watch all our hard work, all our seed, and everything. So, um, all right, we get the cab, and a bird just flew into my tractor. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to turn on menu here. I might have to pause the video, get some controls. You know, get some of the sequences down, and uh, yeah, let's let's take a quick pause here. And I'm back, even though when I edited this video, it didn't seem like I went anywhere. 
Uh, okay, I've got my folder out, and this is probably going to be time for me to laugh at myself because it's been forever since I've driven this and used the controls. Um, God, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot that's going to be going on, so I might as well turn on my help window here. Yes, you can laugh at me all you want, but I uh, need a little assistance to remember all the controls here. And that looks scarier than it is, because, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, yeah, wow, well, this is, I have done this in a long time. Okay, yeah, we are on canola. Uh, I'm just trying to refresh myself with all the functions here. Okay. And let's see, what are my keyboard sequences here? <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Okay, all right. Uh, do you see? You might be from familiar with this mod already. But if you look over to my, uh, let's see, look over to the bottom right, my cluster of uh, information there. Uh, do you see the little green, green uh, icon? Yep, see it. See it turning on and off there. I'm turning that on. So that's my GPS um, mod. So. All right, so we have the GPS is on. Uh, tracker's warmed up. Oh, is everything lifted up? Uh, we don't need to unfold, but I can't remember how do you lift and lower that sucker. Is it unfold? No, this can't be it. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, maybe it's... <laughs> You're all looking at me like, why well, don't just hire a worker? <laughs> uh, I think it's B. I don't know why that's not showing on the menu, but it's like LB plus B. I think that's how you lower it. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it's turn on. That's not it either. Oh, God. <laughs> Why am I not seeing? Maybe you've seen it already. Maybe I'm going to edit this and be like, oh my god, it was right there. Not unload. Oh, I'm going to have to edit this because this is taking me too long. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I got the thing turned around, and uh, look, okay, so this is what I discovered. <laughs> this always gets me. Uh, okay, do you see the top left? Uh, see my menus switching back and forth? You know what You know what the problem was? And maybe this might help you, or maybe you know what I'm talking about, is uh, the select tool, when you have more than one implement hooked to the tractor, sometimes it is not one the correct implement, and I totally forgot about that. So the reason I wasn't seeing the uh, function I needed was because we were on the seed hopper and we should have been on the planter. So look, when I go back, there it is, the LB plus B control lower seeder sower, uh, and that's what we needed. So okay, I <laughs> got that all straightened out, and plus uh, you missed um, the menu, so this is the menu for uh, the GPS. Um, this is uh, kind of like the under the hood, you know, details and stuff, but we've already got it set up. You can see the green dot is the center, and our yellow dots are the edge of the sewer. And auto steering will be activated once I get underway here. And we're going to turn on cruise control, and I'm just going to make sure I got X and D, and auto steer is already activated. Cruise control on. There she goes, the tractor is now officially driving itself. And we're going to the sower, and there we go, we're planting. Woo! Okay, finally got that figured out. <laughs> there we go, okay, we're back in business. And it's kind of funny how, like, you look ahead, it looks like I've already planted we're in the direction, you know, at the very edge there, but that's just, I guess, how the lighting is in the game. I don't think I've planted that, right? Because, yeah, the further. Yeah, when it's far away, it kind of looks like you've already planted that, but I don't think I have. Um, 
I'll start missing my map all of a sudden. Oh, there it goes. And there we go. I don't know, can I show? No. So, uh, um, I guess I have to go back to, while the tractor's driving itself, go back to this map real quick and see my progress, which is not the correct way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it at the moment because, once again, I'm uh, trying to remember all the things for this game. So, oh, okay, look, I did plant the edge there. Okay, so the very edge has been planted, so I guess I did that to give myself room to turn around, even though technically you would wait till the end so you're not constantly running over the seed that you already planted. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying here. Okay, and what we're going to do is see how we turn off. Yep, okay, something beeps. I'm going to hit the brakes here, and I should be able to do all that one fluid motion. But, uh, okay, so I don't have to, all I have to do is just steer to get it to deactivate automatic steering until we get far enough. Um, yep, I'm going to get better at this and get faster at this. Cruise control's on again. That is an awful tight turn, but we're going to roll with that. Uh, because this is actually, uh, yeah, look at that. Let's see if the swivel wheels in the front. Uh, I forget what planter that is, but it's very handy for such a large wide road planter. Wide planter. Okay, lower so our, there we go. Sweet, we are in business. Now it's just time to sit back and relax and let the technology do its thing. So, if you made it this far, um, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. And uh, be, be sure to post your own uh, planting videos. Let's, let's, get the, uh, let's get the farm community out there on YouTube and uh, wherever else it is, maybe it's on Twitch or whatever, but uh, I've just been posting, well as you can see I've only posted like two farming videos and everything else has been mixed, but uh, I did want to make a planting video um, just because I think it's kind of interesting how we have the GPS mod and, and it, gets pretty, it can get pretty technical, uh, so I do enjoy this part, uh, plus just being in a tracker cab, it's kind of like a Nice, uh, nice escape, I guess, if you can say that. Some people, they might want to escape the truck again <laughs> because it's all they do in the real life. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what it is. This is planting, so... I don't know if this is the biggest setup that's possible. I don't want to run over any birds. No animals will be harmed in the making of this video. Even though they're computer-generated. Still, it's, it's the idea. It's the philosophy behind that. So, okay, we're coming up to the edge again. I'm not going to let them early because we'll come back later and then just playing this edge. So, uh, okay. And leave cruise control on. So I'm letting the tractor cruise control still run without me getting on the throttle. And it's just two, literally two buttons is all I press besides just steering. Yeah, which is so incredibly easy. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to get it to steer by itself, too, but uh, I've got to be able to do something. Uh, okay, and there we go. We're playing again. So, and, uh, yeah, so we've got, we're probably halfway now, looking on the map there. Look on the map, so, yeah, maybe halfway. Uh, it does, the field does get a little smaller as we go further down. And of course, we got to come back and fill in those edges that I missed. Um, but yeah, this is you know, this is what it's all about. And yes, you could hire a worker and do this, uh, have a worker do all this. But I don't know. I kind of enjoy the actual task of you know being in the tractor and you know having to pay attention and do all that stuff. So this is how I this is how I farm. So and uh, yep. It may not be the most glorious thing, it may not be the most glamorous uh, activity, but <laughs> I've, uh, I've done this, I haven't done this level of sophisticated planting, but I have actually planted, uh, in real life, I've planted uh, soybeans with a uh, seed drill and a 7810, that's why I have the 7810 at the workshop, uh, I used to run the tractor, very like it, and also a 7610, but uh, you know, this is this is the next level. And this is probably the highest level. 
<laughs> it doesn't get more sophisticated than this kind of equipment, so... Uh, of course, in the game, it's ridiculously easy. It's not even... Okay. Right Leaving cruise control on. Trying not to cut it too sharp. And my two keys. All X. And, uh, yeah, track the time itself. Easy peasy. That's, that is a really tight current. Yes, that makes me cringe seeing how tight that is, but, you know, we're going to let something slide in the game. Uh, look at that. It's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> and I've got to pay attention here. So we turn on the seller. Yes, I know you can automate that too, but again, I'm uh, not perfect. I'm running as I go here. I feel pretty accomplished just having figured out the GPS mod, so that's... That's my, uh, that's my accomplishment. <laughs> uh, yeah, look how slowly, like, we're 54%, so we're barely making it, yeah, this field is going to be finished, and we're probably going to have plenty of seed left. So. Canola is one of, one of my favorite things to plant, um, just because uh, it's got so many uses, and real life, not just the game, but in real life. Um, uh, it's a excellent cover crop, and good for pollinators and all that stuff. And also, you can make biofuel out of it, which is what I have set up. I used the uh, biofuel mod. I can show you that in another video. Basically, I take the canola that I harvest, and uh, whatever I don't sell, I make into the biofuel that I put in my trucks and tractors. So, for diesel only, of course, not, not gasoline vehicles, but diesel. Diesel engines can run that biofuel, and that, that is true in real life as well. It is fully capable, these machines are fully capable of running that canola oil diesel uh, produ pro uh, product uh, that they make in real life. So I do appreciate that as well in this, in this game, that you can do that and simulate that. I forget what the beeping is. I think it's like my reminder to turn, even though we're not quite at the... Uh, not quite at the edge of the field. Maybe I have some kind of setting there uh, specific to this field. But uh, there's my light dots. Yeah, we center on that. So I'm going to have to look at that. Oh, that's really tight. Look, we're almost, we're almost hitting the planner. That's how tight we're taking those turns. But like I said, it's just a game. I'd see people do it differently in real life. Uh, I think it would actually probably skip a row. Uh, uh, you're getting outside my realm of knowledge here, how you would actually drive this in real life because I've never operated something this size in real life. But um, yeah, we're not we're not completely uh, we're not completely being true to real real life here. So, but uh, this could be a really long video of me just talking to myself while driving a tractor and going back and forth in a field. So. <laughs> And it looks like we're at the 10 minute mark for part three or four of my uh, recording here. So I think I will cut out soon uh, just because this can be kind of tedious to watch. If anyone has watched this far. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is, I enjoy this, you know, among other things, you know, this isn't the only game I play, but this is certainly one I keep coming back to because uh, I don't know, it's just, you know, we all we all like what we like, and this is what I like, so. Uh, not just this, of course, there's tons of different things you can do in the farming simulator, and I like the diversity, you know, I've got the wood shop, and uh, all kinds of different equipment, and, you know, the biofuel farm, and it just goes on and on, so. Definitely a cool game. But it's so hard. Plus, I think it starts going off into a hill there, so we don't want to don't want to get on a different hill. Uh, swing around here. Kind of it's so incredibly sharp, <laughs> but also not get too far from the center. And we're back again. I do love that mod. This makes it so so easy. Lowered and planted again. So. Don't hit any birds. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to cut out around now. Um, just because that is a lot of field left to plant. I'm not going to make a whole video of that. So, thanks for watching if you made it this far. I actually, really, thank you for watching because <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So, uh, I really appreciate that. And also be sure to... 
make your own content. You know, a lot of people say make sure to like and subscribe, uh, but I want to say make your own content um, because you know it's worth sharing. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.